welcome to today's video. So Pat and I have been working very hard and we wanted to update you on the space that we briefly showed you in our last video. And also I'm feeling much better today and we're gonna hit a really awesome workout that you guys could hit from home as well. All you need is a jump rope, um, a dumbbell, a pull-up bar, yeah, we'll go over it here in a second. But first, I wanted to show you guys the space. So this used to be our front desk space in our sitting area. Now it's an open gym space and I'm really excited about it. So we decided to keep the wood wall behind and we just went high with the bolts. So we bolted the rig to the wall and then now we have a, the skier won't be here. We're about to use it for the workout, but we have a four foot section for squatting and we have a pull-up bar and then we have another one. So we added two additional lanes um, and this is gonna be all open gym area. Then we've created kind of like a bodybuilding-esque running area, which we're not done with yet, but we're working on. So over here, we've cleanly organized all of our dumbbells. They used to be laying all over the gym in lanes, but we've actually put them back. We're not sure if this is gonna stay exactly here. We have a couple ideas we're gonna mess with, but we'll have all of our dumbbells. We're gonna move our GHD over here, and then we've got our cardio area. So when we turn this big wall into a glass door, it's kinda of gonna be an area where people can just come sweat and feel really good. So we put some new mats, which differentiate between the diamond and the smooth. That way we can kinda of tell what is class space and what is open gym or cardio bodybuilding area. So we're super pumped about it and we're really excited to share this update with you guys. Um, we're just constantly trying to adjust and adapt to create more space and more opportunity for people to come in here safely, socially distanced, so they can still get their fitness in and make it a priority. So we're pretty pumped about it. Comment below on what you guys think um, or if you have any other ideas on how we should set this area up. We like all suggestions. But to get to today's workout, I'm actually gonna let Pat introduce the workout because I promised him since I'm um, just getting back into some fitness that he could make the workout and I would make no changes to it. So we're, we're at his will today, but he'll give you the details coming up. All right, so we'll see if we can hold her to not change anything. I'm not sure how likely that is, but we're gonna do a chipper. We're gonna go all the way down and work our way back up, starting with 50 total bar. We're I love five, chippers. We'll go 40 total bar. 40 total bar? Why? 40 total bar. Third, no, let's make it 50, I'm sorry. He's changing. So I'm the one changing it now. We'll go 50 total bar, 40 dumbbell snatch at 40, 50, 35. 30 drag rope. If you guys watch this going head to head, I got a drag rope that now fits me, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit of redemption. I'm not using the little person drag rope and struggling. Um, I've done a little bit of practicing and I'm, I'm getting better. It's at least manageable. I just hear excuses. No, I'm making the opposite of excuses. I'm coming to get you now. Now we're going 20 cal ski. If you guys don't have a skier, but you have the rest of the stuff or a regular jump rope, you could use that. But instead of a skier, you could run or you could use a rowing machine, whatever machine you have. 10 burpee box jump overs. Only 10? Only 10. So we'll do that once, then we'll go back up, finishing with 50 total bar again. Are we doing 10 twice? No. Just no, going just back once. to 20. I'll show this for you guys. Here we go. Hopefully you can read my handwriting. You were about to win this is the underdog on a mission to be winning smoke the opposition got no competition i'm driven by the thought of turning down to contradiction since a young kid view the world as my own i'm coming to the top until the world is my throne slept on the kid and i bet that they regret it check the roster homie got it locked in when they dread it they don't get it on the road to be labeled the greatest waste time trying to sleep on a lesion now the fact that i'm underestimated only makes victory even sweeter to fuel my passion, all I need is a reaction Use the negative energy as a tool for my crafting Y'all would never get rid of me even if I was passing I'll be settled in history legacy that's established through action People critique my fate, call me the underdog
Oh uh, yeah. Yo, let's do this. Got pics your homie rolling. Money off of my condolence. You don't know just how I'm doing. And the sign is golden broke because they know him for talking fluent. Got him under the influence. The truth is talking to him. But if on your ego, bumping him out of music, I'm a shooing. I just do it for the day. Gonna have to get explicit. I got love for rappers like I do for my fucking ex bitches. And I got that pass, though. I'm gonna ask permission if I could kick it. Checking the repertoire. I got that rep on par with the best who did it. Let's get it how I'm living. Shout out to the ones that with them. Think that I wanted a ransom. Where the ends go, dog, when I'm in the building. And it kind of ironic. Who would've thought that I'd be the hottest? Never came close to being no bitch, but you know Snow was a fucking product. Tell me who won it, not what you want it. Bound to be iconic, baby, you got it. Let me get that love and that's a hundred, checking the proof on it. But I'm in the spot and I catch the feeling, raising the roof on it. You know that we gonna. Uh, well, what do you know? I got beat again. I tried. I got the W. That was really fun though. The um, we kind of jumped right into it. We didn't do a ton of warm up. Um, Actually, we sort of did. We went on a, Chrissy's now calling it as a family 5K. So we went, we got Milo this morning, went out for a light jog. 5K a day? Um, <laughs> it was nothing for her. I came back sweaty. She came back after talking the entire time and didn't sweat at all, but it was fun. We're gonna try to keep those up. Um, this was mostly, we didn't do too much warm up into it and the dumbbell snatches for me got me. It's not a really heavy weight. 50 is pretty manageable, but jumping right into those, the first 20 or so felt heavy. And then going back to back on the second round from the heavy or the drag rope double unders into those, my heart rate was just skyrocketed. So even though it felt a little lighter the second round, my heart rate was just through the roof and she kind of got away from me on those. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. I love troopers, especially actually that was more pyramid style because we hit a point and then we went back up. Um, I think those are fun because you can feel it out the first half and then really hit the gas pedal in the second half. So that was kind of my goal was find sets and then I wanted to maintain those sets when I was fatigued. So in that first half I wasn't pushing myself past my red line or like taking myself to max capacity because I knew I had to do it again and I wanted to be able to match everything when I was tired. So my goal on the toes to bar was to maintain um, dumbbell snatches to not set it down. So if you guys see in the video you might notice I go like 10 muscle snatches into 10 where I'm punching under. Um, the punching under saves my arms a little bit but it drives my heart rate. So I was alternating between the two. Uh, 30 drag rope, the goal, I got to 20 and I wanted to stop every time, but I knew just get those 10 out of the way because otherwise I was gonna stand there for a while. And we both did 20 cal ski. Pat didn't take it easy on me today, which made it for a fun race. Um, and then trying to match everything on the way back up, even though I was fatigued. I loved this workout. I thought it was a blast. Uh, and I hope you guys give this one a try at home. We were both sub 15, so I hope you guys give it a go and shoot for that sub 15 minute range. It's tough, it's a lot of reps and it's spicy, but it's definitely fun. In case you guys didn't notice, I only broke once on my drag rope. I tripped one time, so I made dra drastic improvements from Christy's little mini rope I was using last time. Uh, it is fun though. We'll probably end up using that more. It's a really hard workout, and I did try to slow her down with the ski, making her do 20 calories too, but she still beat me. Just yeah. about like usual. If you guys are interested in following along with what we do daily or following along with our programming, make sure you check out those links in the bio. Also, he talked about our 5K a day. Um, we've created a closed online community for fitness, Facebook, so we can drop that in the description as well, or it's on my Instagram if you click the link tree. Um, we're just gonna do some stuff to motivate you to create a support group and to keep you fit. So make sure you check that out as well. Um, we have lots of awesome programs though. Posterior strength, a strength program, it's winter, it's time to get strong. We've got tons of ab work, running programs, we're working on a bodybuilding program. So make sure you check out the Ibex, the Ibex website, we've got a lot of good stuff. Um, and then like and subscribe for future videos. Yeah?